Welcome to MAKE, a course taught at the University of South Florida. In this advanced topics tutorial we will discuss digital analog and analog digital converters, in short DAC and ADC. We will discuss the basics of DACs and ADCs and we will discuss the successive approximation register principle used in ADCs. We will discuss digital to analog converters uh, first because they are the foundation of analog to digital converters. There are several ways to um, make an analog signal if you're coming from a, uh, a digital system. Uh, the, the simplest one you already saw if you uh, watched the Arduino hardware tutorial. One can simply use pulse width modulation and add a filter at an output and, and thereby create an analog voltage. However, if um, digital to analog converters are desired to be integrated directly into a microcontroller, uh, more often a uh, so-called R2R resistor ladder as shown in the figure is used. The, uh, the one of the reasons for this is, is that uh, the uh, R2R ladder only uses resistors and there are no capacitances uh, in the circuit. Now I want to discuss the um, R2R resistor ladder. I made a uh, schematic in iCircuit and what you see here is, is the actual resistor ladder and so you see here we have 10k and 5k, 10k, 5k etc. So 10k obviously is the uh, 2R resistor and 5k is the R resistor. Up here blue that is the output of the DAC and then we have here 8 switches and if you look closely each of these switches can connect the 10k resistor either to 5 volts or to ground so all the resist all the switches are connected up here to 5 volts and the lower positions of all the switches they are all connected together to ground and so by switching the switches from 5 volts to ground we can actually pull these nodes here either up towards 5 or down towards ground. Now the further away we are from the output up here the less s significant the effect of the switching becomes on the output. So this here is the most significant bit of this DAC. So if this switch here switches then the output voltage is immediately very strongly affected because we are really close here to this switch and either we are up here at 5 volts or we're down at ground that has a great impact on the output voltage. As we go to the switches further down it becomes less severe the impact on the output and so we call these of lesser significance until we have down here the least significant bit. Um, so these eight switches they correspond to a register uh, inside the Arduino that is connected to the DAC. Um, depending on, we on, on putting ones and zeros into the register which corresponds of course to 5 volts or 0 volts um, we can uh, influence these resistors. So the way it is set here we have this most significant bit set to 1 that which means that the resistor is pulled up to 5 volts and that gives us already an output voltage of 2.5 volts. If this switch also were connected to ground then it's immediately uh, obvious that uh, we would have zero voltage here at the output because 5 volts would be at would be nowhere connected so everything would be at ground potential the entire ladder. So if you would switch this switch then you would get a change of 1.25 volts, half the influence of this one and so as we go down here it gets less and less and less until we're here at the least significant bit where the change is only of the order of a few millivolts. I opened the circuit in, uh, in I circuit. Uh, now we can play with it. Um, I'm showing the output of the DAC on the oscilloscope and right now so let me start the oscilloscope right now we have zero volts at the output and so let's see what happens uh, when I put a 1 into the most significant bit and you see it jumped here to 2.5 volts I turn on this one we have 3.75 volts. 
I turn on this one we have 4.37 volts and so on I can turn on all of these and you see the uh, steps get smaller and smaller and when all are on so we have now eight ones in the register we have 255 in there as a binary number so now we're at the maximum of the output and you see here that we have 4.971 now it doesn't go all the way up to 5 because we have this 10k resistor here which is a, a, a voltage divider. Okay, let's turn them all off again. And you see actually how the voltage here gets pulled down, right? Green, the more green it is, the more 5 volts we have. And so I can turn them all off and we're back down at 0. In summary, what this means is, is that um, the output voltage is directly proportional with the binary number that we write into this uh, register. We go from 0 to 255 and um, as we do that the voltage here goes from 0 to uh, very close to 5 volts. Now you understand the digital to analog converter, the DAC. Um, once you have the DAC uh, you can build an analog to digital converter or in short uh, ADC. Um, the Arduino has uh, six inputs uh, where one can measure a voltage via an, an ADC that is on the Arduino chip, the Atmega chip. Um, this particular uh, ADC uses a DAC that has uh, uh, 10 bits. That means you have uh, 1024 steps uh, if you spread those out over the 5 volts uh, uh, input range, um, that just gives you a resolution that's a little bit better than 5 millivolts, 4.9 millivolts. You can read those out um, with the analog read function just by putting the uh, pin number into that function. Uh, since we go through a multiplexer towards the, um, towards the uh, ADC on, on the chip, um, one can only read one of these pins at a time, so they always have to be read sequentially one after the other. Here you see the basic layout of an analog to digital converter. Essentially, the way the externally uh, applied voltage is being measured is by comparing it with an internally uh, produced highly precise voltage. And so we know now how we can make an analog voltage based on a uh, digital number. We use a digital to analog converter. So the uh, processor writes a uh, binary number into this register that controls the DAC and then we get an output voltage that is proportional to that binary number. 0 to 255 we get here 0 to 5 volts. And so this voltage and the externally applied voltage that we want to know, uh, we feed into this op amp. And what an op amp does is to amplify the difference between these two uh, input pins, the, the, the voltage difference between these two input pins. And so depending on the polarity of this difference, right, this can be larger than this, or this here can be larger than this, and so we get plus or minus differences here. Uh, depending on these differences, we get an output here that is either 5 volts or 0, so we get a, a 1 or a 0. So if you know a little bit about op amps, then if the DAC output is larger than the external voltage, we would get a, a 0 here at the output, 0 volts. If the DAC on the other hand is smaller than the external voltage, then we would get 5 volts at the output, which we could uh, which we could interpret as a 1 if we feed this into uh, the uh, processor. So all we have to do now is, the easiest way to do it is of course to simply uh, ramp up the voltage in the DAC from 0 to uh, 5 volts and while we do that every time we change the, uh, the uh, uh, number in the register by plus 1 we check here if the output is still um, a 1. As soon as it goes to 0, we would know that the analog output exceeded the, um, the voltage at the input here and then we could read out the number that's in the register and we would know what the external voltage is. I expanded the, um, the DAC model that I made in, in iCircuit and I added a, uh, a comparator op-amp at the uh, DAC output. 
the DAC feeds into the minus, the negative input of the op amp and the external voltage as simulated here with a two volt power supply that um, feeds into the positive input. At the output I installed a light emitting diode uh, against ground with a current limiting resistor and this diode tells us when it comes on that the output here is 5 volts so we have a 1 at the output. If this is off, if the diode is off then we have a 0 at the output. So we can play now with these uh, switches, simulate putting 1s and 0 into the register and see what the uh, output of the comparator does relative to the uh, 2 volts. Now the successive approximation register method to find this uh, this uh, external voltage equivalent on the from on the, with the uh, DAC um, uh, that is different from what I just suggested that we just uh, ramp the voltage of the DAC from zero to 255 and uh, uh, simply note here whenever the output. Um, uh, goes low telling us that we exceeded the externally applied voltage. This can be too slow, right, because if the voltage is large then we have to drive the register through all the numbers until we get close to 255 so that takes a longer time than if we would have a small voltage here and we would hit it already just by playing with the least significant bits of the register. So what they really do in on a um, microcontroller with a, with an ADC, they use the successive approximation register method. And so the way this goes is we start with the most significant bit and we simply turn this off. And you know now that when we turn this off, when all the other ones are on, then we go from 5 volts to 2.5. So then we watch here at the output whether we get a 1 or a 0. If we get a 1, that means um, we're too low. If we get a 0, it means we are too high. So that allows us to select the upper or the lower half of the number range that we can put here into this register. So immediately after this one switch, we know whether the voltage is between 0 and 2.5 or it is between 2.5 and 5. If we find that the voltage is in the 0 to 2.5 range, we simply leave this switch off. So we know that we have a 0 in this, in this register already. Then we go to this switch and now we, in, now we try and, and see whether we are between 1.25 volts or between 1.25 and 2.5 volts with this switch and we do the same we check whether we are in the upper or in the lower range in that half and then um, after we determine this here whether this is on or off we go to the next switch and then we select again the upper or lower half of that quarter and so we work our way down uh, until we end up by the least significant bit and once we're down here, we have here in the register a number that is equivalent to that voltage uh, that is applied at the positive input of the op amp. You understand now why the successive approximation register method is much faster than uh, going from 0 to 255 every time we um, measure a voltage at the uh, op amp. Here we always have just eight steps and once we determine the, the least significant bit, then we're done. The other method in comparison can take up to 255 steps. I switched over to iCircuit. Um, so we have the simulation live now. You see here current flowing. All the switches are uh, on. That means we have almost 5 volts up here. You can see this on the oscilloscope. It shows us 4.971 volts. That means, of course, the voltage here is higher than at the input, which is at 2 volts. You can actually see this directly here because this here is greener than down here. Green again, uh, deep green is 5 volts. If it goes gray, then we get close to ground potential. The LED, therefore, is off. So we have a zero at the output of the comparator. Okay, so let's now do the first step of this measurement. So we start with the most significant bit and let's set this uh, register bit to zero. 
and you see now we have 2.4 volts at the output so it's a little bit greener than here the LED is still off so that means we did the right thing and um, we can go on to the next bit so now the LED is on a current is flowing so we have 5 volts at the output that tells us we went too far right the voltage is lower than 2 volts it's 1.2 so we turn this uh, back on so that means bit 6 is a 1 so now we go on to the next one let's see if this reduces the voltage too much and it does right the LED came on again and indeed we are below 2 volts so I'm turning this on again and we try the next one ah the LED did not come on this means we are a little bit larger than 2 volts and yes we are at 2.16 volts so we leave this bit so this means we have a 0 in bit 4 and so we try the next one and we're still off so this is good right we are at 2.003 so we're a tiny little bit higher but very very close already and so let's uh, try this bit and the LED is on so we basically flip this back and that means bit 2 is a 1 and so let's try this one LED is on so we need to flip it back so this is also a 1 so with this one here we can turn it off right so we are at 1.988 um, versus 2.03 so between this here off and this here on is our voltage so um, at this point we can simply leave this at a 1 or at a 0 because we don't really know what it is so the the number at the end that we could um, that, that we can extract from this register I decided here that this is off uh, would be 0.1100110 so if you add the numbers up we get 64 plus 32 plus 4 plus 2 and that gives us 102 and so if you calculate now the fraction of 5 volts that's proportional to the uh, quotient between 102 and 255 um, that just gives us 2 so this uh, binary number that we determined determined with the successive approximation register method is indeed um, proportional to a voltage of 2 volts so the measurement is over now you know how digital analog and analog digital converters work this concludes our advanced topics tutorial thanks for watching